Hi and welcome to another quick tip for Elementor. In this series of getting creative with Elementor, we're going to take a look at ways that you can go above and beyond some of the basics that you may be comfortable with. So in this example, we're going to take a look at how we can create more expressive and more feature-packed accordions. So let's take a look at how we can do all that right now. So accordions are a great way of being able to keep a page slightly simpler when you've got a lot of written or graphical content to put together. You can compress everything down and make it much easier on the viewer. But one of the problems is it's not the most creative way of working with information. They can be quite basic and boring. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can go above and beyond that and get a little bit more creative and harness a lot more of the functionality that Elementor Pro offers you. So it's worth noting at this point that this is an Elementor Pro exclusive feature. You can't do this with the free version. Now, if you don't have Elementor Pro and you are considering upgrading, please consider using the affiliate link in the description below. It helps give a small percentage back for every sale made and helps support the channel and create more content for you covering Elementor. Anyway, moving on, let's take a look at how we can do this. So first of all, let's just jump over to our pages section and I've created a page for my accordion. So I'm going to go in there and I just going to insert an accordion using Elementor. So I'm just going to open up the Elementor editor. Once that's loaded up, we're simply going to add a new section. We'll set this to be one column. And all we're going to do is come in and we're going to use the accordion. So we'll drag that in there, drop that in. We'll leave the default settings at the moment and we'll just hit save on the page to make sure that we've got this saved out. So, as we've said, if you open up any of these accordion sections, you can see all we can really do is work with the normal text editor. Yes, we can drop some media in there, we can get a little bit creative, but it's still quite restrictive. So, we can go beyond that. Once we've saved that, let's just jump back out of this and go back to our dashboard. And once we're in our dashboard, we're going to come up to the Elemental section, and we're going to come to My Library. We're going to open that up, and now, like I say, this is an element or Pro feature, and when you've got library items, they're basically template items that you can create, and then we can use those in various different ways. We can insert them as a template directly inside the Elementor editor, or we can use the short codes that are available for each one of these individual library items. So, let's create something new now. Let's click Add New, and we're just going to call this Accordion. I'm going to set this to Accordion 1. We'll hit publish on there. We'll set, make sure that this is using the content layout of full width. Now I'm using Ocean WP at the moment. Your theme may have different options. What we're looking to do is make sure that this template has none of the normal settings and features on this. So no headers, no footers, no margins, no columns, nothing at all. Just a completely blank page. So all we need to do is go to the page at or post attributes and select element or canvas. And like I say, I'm using Ocean WP, so I'm going to set this to full width as well. So that means I've got nothing on there at all. Hit publish to make sure those changes are committed. And then we're going to hit edit with Elementor to open the editor up. And then we can start creating the content using the Elementor editor. So for this, we're going to keep it really simple. We're just going to add two sections in there, two columns. We'll just set this to be slightly different sizes. We'll drop some text into this one and we'll just go back and we'll drop an image into this one. Like I say, I'm not too bothered about what's going to be put in there. I just want to show you how this works. So let's just fill out the text a little bit more just so we've got some more information in there and we'll paste that a couple of times in there. Okay, so we'll hit save on there. So we've now basically set up, let's just add an image in there as well. So we've basically set up everything we need for this page. So we've now got the page created, none of the extraneous information there. Now all we need to do is close back out of this and go back to our dashboard. We'll hit update to make sure any changes are saved and we'll just go back to the Elementor My Library section. And you can see there's Accordion 1. All I'm going to do now is click and copy this shortcode. Once I've copied the shortcode, I'm going to go back to our page with the accordion in it and we're just going to go back up to all pages, open up the accordion test, edit with Elementor as we normally would. And once we've done that, we can simply check the accordion, expand the relevant accordion section that we want, get rid of the text that's in there, and we're going to jump over to the text section, and we're going to simply paste in that short code. Now, you may see just the short code will appear in there, but that will refresh at some point, so we'll hit Save on there. Once that's saved, that now has set that particular short code in there that pulls in the content from that page we just created. So if we take a look at this page, let's just go back at this and go back to the dashboard. And we'll just update the page to make sure it's saved and we'll then preview it. So once you open that up, you can see now inside our accordion is the short code 
pulled in the content and the content we've just created in the library section is now being pulled into that accordion tab. Now this is a very, very simple example, but it shows you the power of what can be achieved by using those short codes in the library to create your templates and then linking that through into the accordion inside Elementor itself. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up and smash that subscribe button to be kept up to date with all the new content that's added every single week. If you have comments, questions or feedback on this video or anything else we cover on the channel, please pop those in the comment section below. We read everything you post and try to cover and answer as many questions as possible. Until next time, take care.